For nearly 20 years, John Lawrence dedicated himself to improving the life of children as a coach, teacher, and mentor. I think he sees the power of children and what they're capable of and the potential that children hold. Uh, and I think he really wanted to help nourish that and help that grow. Nicknamed Muddy, John dreamed of being able to help children affected by cancer and other chronic illnesses. There are some wonderful organizations in the area for children and we all acknowledge that and he acknowledged that. He just thought there would be a, a different type of organization that supported kids doing what they love to do all the time. Sadly, Muddy didn't get the chance to complete his mission. He passed away in 2008 from cancer, but his legacy lives on today, thanks to his family who started Muddy's Buddies in 2009. What's the mission of Muddy's Buddies? The mission is to support uh, children in a variety of ways throughout the community. It's not just about sports. Sports is pri our primary connection to the community, but we like to support uh, children of whatever their interests are, whether it's music, whether it's art, whether it's theater, whatever a child's interested in, we want to connect them to the community. We, you know, initiate the relationship, we foster the relationship, we nourish the relationship, but then we step back and we watch the relationship grow and that's what it's all about. This past summer, senior forward Todd Skirving spearheaded RIT's first connection with Muddy's Buddies. I've had a number of coaches reach out to us. I can count on two fingers the number of athletes, student athletes that reached out to us. Todd was one of them and I knew of speaking to him the first time that we had something special and I was very intent on making this work out. Going back to when I was a little kid, my dad always said, you know, make the time of the day to uh, make a difference in other people's lives and my parents kind of always taught me that because, you know, I was the kid who was always looking for autographs after games and whatnot and just to see a, a hockey player after a game. So. I thought it would be important to uh, make a difference in uh, other people's lives and it just so happened to be Muddy's Buddies. Zachariah Merrill, a cancer survivor, has been one of Muddy's Buddies since 2010. Now, thanks to Skirving, Zachariah spends every Tuesday with the Tigers. What do you like about it? Uh, what I like about it is like, getting to meet new people and other teams and see how they do things. Do you have a favorite player on the RIT hockey team? Uh, Todd and I just look forward to seeing him get a goal. <laughs> Why are you blushing? Yeah, I mean, he's been an outstanding uh, young man. Uh, it means the world to us that there's kids out there that are willing to reach out and do something random like that. They email Todd daily, pretty much. He's always in talk with them. We've been to quite a few games so far. Uh, so it's been a good experience. You know, things can get tough uh, for you being a student athlete. Finals are coming up. The season is starting to get into the thick of things. Um, when you look over on Tuesdays and see him sitting there with his family, what does that mean to you to, to be a part of this? I mean, we could always do something in someone else's life to make their lives better. It's just a simple little act of kindness and just as simple as having them sit and watch our practice. You know, that's making their day, and I think that's very important for not only us, but, you know, RET hockey. This relationship we want to extend beyond the game, beyond the season hoping that it's a lifelong commitment and a lifelong relationship. And, and it takes a really special person to deliver that. It's not for everybody on the team, and we recognize that, and we're totally comfortable with that. And we appreciate that, actually. We also appreciate individuals like Todd Skirving, who can really kind of step up and do it and get it. Muddy's Buddies has been a huge success. Currently, there's over 100 teams still waiting to team up. What would Muddy think of Muddy's Buddies? <laughs> uh, he would think it was super cool. He would think it was perfect. It was right up the alley, right up his alley. But he would undoubtedly have a couple critiques and ways to make it better. And I'm 100% certain his ideas would make it better.